Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park. I'm your host, Ron Nicoletti. We're here for Sunday, November 10th, a feature card, eight races. Let's get right to those track and weather conditions. The main track listed is good. The races have been taken off the turf this afternoon. Our first race, a six and a half furlong sprint. It's a maiden claiming event. For maiden two-year-olds, we have nine runners going post with, with no scratches or jockey changes to report. They're off. Trouble with girls came out quickly. On the inside, Little Bart with speed. Old Army is out running in third. Soccer Holic on the inside is in fourth. Two lengths off the lead and clear of Chilean Brothers. Then Big City Guy alongside. Prospector John is after that. At the back are Ben Jacob and a wrangle at the rail. It's Little Bart on top in the run up the back stretch. In front by a length and a half to Soccer Holic second on the inside. Old Army is third in between horses. Further out, trouble with girls. Opening quarter mile in 22 and 4 fifth seconds. Chilean Brothers is in fifth right now. Three and a half lengths off the lead and clear of Big City Guy. Then Ben Jacob to the inside, a wrangle, and Prospector John around the far turn. And it's still Little Bart out there by a length. On the rail, Soccer Holic. Old Army is in between horses. Chilean Brothers out there four wide and moving up. And then it's trouble with girls, followed by Big City Guy, and Arangel is getting going too, and they're at the top of the stretch. Little Bart, Chilean Brothers running a big one right up alongside, and Chilean Brothers and Quincy Hamilton strike the front, but Arangel is coming on the far outside. Chilean Brothers and Arangel, these two down to the wire, and here's Arangel and Jose Alvarez running down Chilean Brothers. Soccer, Hollick was third, Little Bart was fourth. For two, Arangel wins the opener and pays $10 to win. Owned by Runtos Racing Stable Corporation, trained by Manny Espura, and ridden to victory today by Jose Alvarez. The second race, we're going to stretch out to a one-turn mile. It's a starter allowance for three-year-olds and upward. We have 10 runners going to post, and the off-time favorite is number two, Roomstream. They're off. Treasure's image on the outside is sent out for early speed. Unbridled Heat and Sir Edgar are up and on the pace. And Jack Wagon is away running in fourth as they continue out of the chute and on toward the backstretch, where the leader is Sir Edgar. Sir Edgar on top three quarters of a length. Unbridled heat to the inside, runs in second. Jack Wagon is third. Break of another two back to Treasure's Image. Then Smart Humor to the inside. Houston Bull is next by another two. And we come back another two lengths more to Tyler's Wildcat outside of Broom Street. Alyssa's Engineers next. And in rhythm is the trailer, 23 and one for the opening quarter as they head to the half mile pole. Unbridled Heat and Sir Edgar. And these two are nose to nose on the lead with a half mile to go. And they run by a half mile in 45 and three fifth seconds. Jack Wagon, two lengths off the leaders, runs in third. Then Smart Humor, Houston Bull to the inside. Tyler's Wildcats got six lengths to make up. Broom Street is next. Treasure's Image drops back. In rhythm, Andalus's Engineer, and they're coming toward the quarter pole. And Sir Edgar and Edgar Zayas are in hand and in front by a length and a half. Unbridled Heat. Smart Humor to the outside is next. A wide run for Broom Streets on the far outside. Houston Bull tries to get going late, and then Tyler's Wildcat. Sir Edgar passes the eighth pole with a four-length lead here. It's wide open behind him. Houston Bull is second, and then it's Tyler's Wildcat splitting horses and Smart Humor on the inside. Sir Edgar has it won as they come down to the line. Houston Bull was second, Tyler's Wildcat, and Broom Street. Nine, Sir Edgar crosses the line first for owner Frank Call Calabrese, trained by Kurt Zeddy and ridden by our leading rider, Edgar Zayas. We're going to take a short break and be back for the third in a couple of moments. Express Bet brings you a whole new way to play the races. An easier, better way to wager on your favorite tracks. With a more streamlined interface for faster wagering. With more handicapping insights from our world-class experts. With more racetracks, nearly 200 to choose from. And with your personalized multi-view wagering screen, your tracks, your wager pad, and your video are all on one page. It's simply the best way to play the races. Your way. Welcome to Express Bet. 
your way to play. Ocala Breeder Sales Company, where champions and grade one stakes winners are sold, presents the next event on our sales calendar, the OBS Winter Mix Sale, January 22nd and 23rd. OBS, we measure success by performance. The third race is a six furlong sprint, the claiming event for three-year-olds and upward. One scratch in here, number seven, Mize the Big Cat, but lots of jockey changes. On the 1A, it's Quincy Hamilton. On the 2B, it's Jose Garcia. On the 3, it's Abdel Jain. And on the 4, it's Jose Alvarez. A centurion comes out running on the lead. Tripolar broke second to the inside from the rail patch is away running in third. After that, it's Morality, Musical Flare to the inside, and outside of them, Bidim is next by another two. Then back to Vero's hero, Riojano to the outside. After that, it's Key Reversal. At the back of the field, our entry mates, Tiger Distinction, and Congrats Criminal, 22 and 2 is the opening quarter mile. A Centurion is the leader. Musical Flare a half length behind in second. Tripolar is third along the rail. Morality is in fourth. Then it's Bidum fifth while going three wide on the turn. Vero's Heroes in behind horses, four lengths off the lead right now. And then comes Patch. And they're coming toward the top of the stretch. And a Centurion turns for home. Just a narrow lead here. And Musical Flare is right alongside. Tripolar just outside the leaders. Now comes up to get the lead. And it's Tripolar in front. Tripolar now the leader. From Musical Flair, Vero's Hero, and Morality on the far outside. Tripolar, and up the rail, Vero's Hero makes it a race late. Tripolar holds on. From Vero's Hero, Musical Flair, and Tiger Distinction fourth. Part of the entry, number one, Dry Polar wins it for Lady Luck Stable. Trained by Diane Alvarado and ridden to victory today by Paco Lopez. A fourth race, five and a half furlong, maiden Philly two-year-olds, scratch the 13 and the 14, built the jockey on the two is Joe Rodriguez, and a number five, awesome to call, make the run a Paco Lopez. They're off. Probably on the inside with a good start. Latin Tudor also fast out of the gate. Right there is Arissa between horses. Dinner with Sophie is close up to the pace as well. Then it's My Sweet Dove to the outside, followed by Belladini. Starship Journey on the far outside is next. And then Money Game, Baby Bunderscotch is in between horses. Racing five lengths off the lead, moving for the turn. Then 8P Tigress, awesome to cold on the inside. And a good way last is Senorita Davina. 22 and 2 was the quarter as the field rounds the far turn. It's Latin Tudor on the inside, Arissa right alongside, and My Sweet Dove three wide. These three clear from Starship Journey, who's fourth on the far outside. Then Baby Butterscotch moving up in between horses on the rail. Dinner with Sophie is after that. Then Belladini to the outside and probably on their end of the stretch. And it's My Sweet Dove, who opens up from Latin Tudor with a furlong to go. My Sweet Dove is four in front now, running away from the competition. My Sweet Dove and Antonio Gallardo all alone at the wire. The race is for second, and it's 8 Pete Tigress who gets up on the outside of Latin Tudor. Money game fourth. Number 10, My Sweet Dove draws off the score for owner Peter A. Lawson, trained by Monty Thomas and ridden to victory today by Antonio Gallardo. Don't touch that remote when we we'll right back. Starship Truffles is going to blitz him in the grade one Princess Rooney. Judy the Beauty, second best. And it is Moreno who's going to win it wire to wire here and strides under the line as a much the best winner of the Dwyer. Better lucky with Day at the Spa. Better lucky to take it by head on the line. Go Saver, scary good in 2013. And among the leaders by stakes winners again this year, standing at Adina Springs. Breakfast at Gulfstream, a popular Saturday morning tradition, is back. Breakfast at Gulfstream will run from 7 to 10 a.m. every Saturday. Come out and enjoy the all-you-can-eat breakfast for only $8. For the fourth consecutive season, the public is invited to enjoy breakfast while watching some of the racing's top thoroughbreds work out before enjoying a free tour of Gulfstream's backstretch and barn area. Breakfast at Gulfstream will once again be hosted by Sandy Bruno, former assistant trainer to Hall of Famer Woody Stevens. So join us for breakfast each and every Saturday at beautiful Gulfstream Park. 
Welcome back. The fifth race on the Sunday card is a one-turn mile contested on a fast main track. It's an allowance optional claiming event. We have two scratches and one jockey change. A scratch to three, Uptown Anthem. Scratch to four, They're Flat of This. The jockey on the seven is Joe Bravo. Mystic Strike is being sent for early speed. Defense article on the outside is out of the gate fast. These two away the best. JIC came out running in third, and then it's Speak Logistics and Speechify going up on the far outside. Jamie's boy is at the back of the field as they leave the chute. And it's Defense Article on the outside, the leader with Mystic Strike along the rail. These two head and head through a 23 and 1 opening quarter mile. Nothing separates the top two and Speak Logistics is a length and a half off of them. Then JIC and Speechify to the outside, only three lengths from the front. Jamie's boy is the trailer as they race toward the half mile pole. And now coming up the fence is JIC through an opening on the inside. JIC up to grab the lead as they race past a half and 46 seconds flat. Defense article right alongside of JIC. Mystic Strike is third. Speak Logistics circles up on the outside. Third heading toward the top two now. Speechify with four lengths to make up. And Jamie's boy, and they're at the quarter pole. JIC on the rail. A full out defense article. Speak Logistics comes up to them three wide. And Speechify is three off of them. Three quarters in one ten and two. They're into the stretch. JIC looking for an upset. It's JIC in front, but here comes Speak Logistics, drawing up right alongside, and these two speed away from the others. Speak Logistics and JIC, and Speak Logistics has taken the lead. Speak Logistics and Paco Lopez by a neck, a measured neck on the wire over JIC, then Defense Article. Fourth is either Speechify or Mystic Strike. Number six, Speak Logistics. Gets the job done for Holloway Stables, trained by Eddie Plisa Jr., and that gives jockey Paco Lopez his second victory on the car. Sixth race, five and a half furlongs, a main event for maiden two-year-olds, a full field of 12 runners, scratch both also eligible entries, 13 SS Dixie and 14 Tepicero. They're off. Royal Animo was very slow to begin. Brown's Gap on the inside showing early speed as is Monte Amira, Coro Coro, and outside of them comes Storm Viper away running in fourth. And then it's War Artist squeezing through in tight traffic, running in fifth now and angling to the outside for a clear path. Prudhoe Bay is sixth and four and a half lengths off the lead. And then it's My Uncle Charlie, gems home to the outside, break of four, back to Dream Saturday. Packet Cat is after that in some sweet sunset and Royal Animo, 22 and two the quarter around the far turn. Coro Coro on the outside. Monte Amira down at the rail, now a half length behind. And then it's Storm Viper who swings up on the outside. Prudhoe Bay is coming wide, but is gaining ground on the center of the track. War Artist is in behind horses, now angles to the outside. And then it's My Uncle Charlie. It is Storm Viper, Prudhoe Bay. These two, Prudhoe Bay, Storm Viper. Prudhoe Bay on the outside. Storm Viper keeps battling. Prudhoe Bay has it at the wire. Over Storm Viper, then Coro Coro and My Uncle Charlie. Number five, Prudhoe Bay scores for Russellwood Farm Incorporated, trained by Ed Plisa Jr., and that gives jockey Paco Lopez his third victory on the Sunday card. We're going to take a short break and be back for the seventh and feature race in just a couple of moments. Express Bet brings you a whole new way to play the races. An easier, better way to wager on your favorite tracks. With a more streamlined interface for faster wagering. With more handicapping insights from our world-class experts. With more racetracks, nearly 200 to choose from. And with your personalized multi-view wagering screen, your tracks, your wager pad, and your video are all on one page. It's simply the best way to play the races. Your way. Welcome to Express Bet. Your way to play. Hey fans, you want to see the Gulfstream Park replay show? It's on GulfstreamPark.com each and every race day. 
before we get to our seventh and feature race, we got some bonus coverage from Aqueduct. We're going to show you the three coins up, $100,000, mile and the 16th on the turf. A lot of these horses will be running at Gulfstream this winter, along with some of the jocks. So we thought you'd be interested. Running room. Plain view to catch at the top of the stretch. Abilio's been second throughout. Carafa continues to close ground. Here comes Carafa now. Plain view still there a length. Carafa continues to close ground. Abilio dives inside. Plain view and Carafa. Carafa and Plain view and Abilio and Lubesh. And they're coming down to the finish. And it is Carafa. And number seven, Carafa scores. Written today by Javier Castellano at six wins on the Saturday card at Aqueduct. And guess what? Javier will be here all went along at Gulfstream Park. Our seventh race, originally scheduled for one mile and one sixteenth on the turf, will now be run at one mile and sixteenth on the main track. Scratch the one, Master Achievement. Scratch the two, Arton. And scratch number seven, Stectoria. They're all in line. They're off. Fan base goes out to take the early lead. Symphony 41 has speed and is right alongside, and Cozy Kitten came out running in third just in behind them, and is three wide on that first turn. Drafting in behind those is Grand Tito in fourth, and it's a good eight lengths back to an unhurried Starship Zorro, who's well out of the race early. They make their way to the back stretch. The first four tightly packed here with fan base, the leader by three quarters of a length. And Cozy Kitten alongside in second. Grand Tito goes up three deep third. Now these three are in line. Symphony 41 right in behind them, and they're 10 in front of Starship Zorro. 23 and 2 was the first quarter. Up the back stretch they go, where Fan Base and Juan Leva have a neck lead on Cozy Kitten and Grand Tito on the outside. Symphony 41 continues to track close in fourth, two lengths from the front. And now it's another 10 or 11 back to Starship Zorro who's still behind after a 47 and four half mile into the far turn. And now Fan Base and Grand Tito kick on. Grand Tito takes the lead on the outside and there's Symphony 41 making a move just to the outside of Fan Base midway on the far turn. Now they're four ahead of a tiring Cozy Kitten and Starship Zorro was still last. Coming toward the top of the stretch, Grand Tito turning for home with Symphony 41 a length behind in second. Fan base is third, and they're into the stretch. Grand Tito and Jesus Rios coming into the final furlong in front. Grand Tito, the leader. Symphony 41 is second best, and then comes Fan Base in third, but it's going to be Grand Tito. Grand Tito runs away as they come down to the line. Symphony 41 was second, and then Fan Base in Starship Zorro. Number six, Grand Tito would not be denied. Tough victory. Owned by Grupo 7C Racing Stable, trained by Antonio Sano, and ridden to victory today by Jesus Rios. The eighth and final race moved from the turf to one mile on the fast main track. It's a main event for maiden three, four, and five-year-olds. Scratch the one, scratch the four, scratch the seven, scratch the ten. The rider on the 11 is Fernando Hara. They're off. Champagne Chic comes out running. There's Lochte now up to grab the lead, and Siete C is now moving up along with Kulik Lodge as they race out of the chute and toward the main track. And it's going to be Siete C now going up to grab an arrow lead. Chevron Light on the outside runs in second, Kulik Lodge third, Lochte fourth to the inside by two. Then who else in Champagne Chic followed by Taj on the inside. Opening quarter mile in 23 and 3 fifth seconds. Moving up the back stretch in Siete C has taken a slight lead from Lochte. Kulik Lodge is back running in third. Chevron Light is fourth. Three lengths clear of Taj in fifth at the half mile pole. After that comes Champagne Chic and who else? 46 and three for a half. Into the turn, Lochte the leader. Siete C on the outside, second by three. Kulik Lodge under a drive in third, five and a half lengths ahead of Taj in fourth. Chevron lights drop back, and then it's Champagne Chic. It is Lochte in front. Siete C and Kulik Lodge is on the move on the far outside as they come to the top of the stretch. 
Three quarters in one, ten and four. Lochte is the leader. Kulik Lodge on the outside runs at Lochte with a furlong to go. Sienti C is third. Lochte on the rail. Kulik Lodge on the outside. These two pass the 16th pole together. Lochte and Kulik Lodge. Lochte digs in. Kulik Lodge keeps coming. They're head and head, nose and nose on the wire. That's too close to call. Sienti C was third. And then came Taj and Champagne Cheek. Number nine, Kulik Lodge wins a squeaker just getting up under the shadow of the wire. Owned by Stone Street Stables, LLC. Trained by Todd Pletcher, written to victory today by Edgar Prada. In the pick four, four of four paid $38.80. The pick five, five of five, three ninety-three ninety-five. Four of five, six dollars ninety cents. Pick six, six of six, a hundred dollars ninety-five cents. There is a carryover of five thousand eight hundred nineteen dollars and fifteen cents. And that wraps up the Sunday card. Remember, Monday, Veterans Day, we have a special eight race card. I hope you can be here with us. Good night and good luck. <laughs>